Hey everyone, uh, this is a video about uh, converting um, your Fraps videos if you use Fraps, which is for recording in game. Um, and at higher resolutions, it becomes the files become very, very large, especially if they're five minutes or over. Um, for example, I have a six minute video which is 12 gigabytes. Obviously, you don't want to be uploading that to YouTube. <laughs> um, so there's a couple of things uh, that you do. Um, I'll open a file. Uh, I'll keep it here. And here's one from Darksiders, and it's uh, 10 gigabytes or so, which is way too large. Okay, the first thing to do is uh, I'll open uh, Virtual Dub. And I'll drag this over. First thing you want to do is audio, I'm sorry, file, save wave, and export the wave file, which I've already done here, which is uh, 50 megabytes. And then I use a program which I purchased years ago called uh, DB Power Amp, as you can see in the dialog there. And uh, I think you can use it for free to convert to an MP3. So what I did is I uh, downsized it to 128 kilobits. I, I kept the 48 uh, kilohertz uh, sample rate, and it's still in the stereo, but it's consider considerably smaller in size. It's only 4 and a bit megabytes as opposed to 50, over 50. So once you do that, you select audio and go to from another audio file and you select your mp3 and auto detect and uh, for video uh, there's two things this one is uh, a codec um, it may have come with a codec pack but it's called the uh, x264 um, video for windows or v f W and it's basically an X2 H264 format. Configuration um, I disable the log, um, virtual dub hack is clicked, and I set it to 30 approximately for uh, quality. And you press OK. Now, if you don't know where, uh, if you don't have video for Windows, the H264. Um, the X264, 264, there it is there. And I think it's on SourceForge. Yeah. It's right here. And download whatever the latest one is. I don't think it's too big. I'm not sure. You know, 900, not just it's under a megabyte. So I'll go back, uh, backspace, and then we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see this. So it's for SourceForge.net projects, and then X264VFW or video for Windows. I'll close that down. Now you go back to video, and. Uh, this this particular one is uh, from the game Darksiders, and its uh, uh, resolution is uh, 1920 by 1080. I wanted to, I want to resize that to 1080. I mean um, 720p. So you go to filters, and you click add and resize, and you hit OK. And at the top, it doesn't matter. Just type in uh, the resolution be 1280 by 720. Right there. That's what you want. And you press OK. And then OK again. So you make sure that uh, you see it's already started to... You can see the black lines because my resolution video was 1920 by 1080. So anyway, video, full processing mode. Audio, make sure it's from another source, direct stream copy, and you save the file. 
save the file as, rename it something different or whatever. And uh, I've already done this, so I'll close this. And the file size, the final file size came out to, I call it somewhere, just a little under 80 megabytes. So that's from 10 gigabytes down to 80 megabytes. And the quality is not bad. I'll just open up here. Oh, um, Darksiders, uh, turn this down. You can see a little bit of uh, pixelation and uh, some discoloration or whatever, but it's uh, it's more than acceptable to upload to you, but it's only uh, 80 megabytes as opposed to 10 gigabytes or maybe a 500 MP4. And um, it will, it is uh, an AVI file. Um, I don't know how much, if I open VLC player, and get more information about it. Uh, tools, codec information, codec details. H.264, MPEG-4, AVC. Uh, there's your resolution. 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second. And 128 uh, bit rate. And that's basically it. And uh, you can do this with your screencasts or your... Uh, in-game videos um, and re um, really greatly reduce the size and also retain quite a bit of the quality as well. So um, I hope you find this useful and also uh, if you're looking for a free audio uh, converter I suggest uh, Oxalon. Uh, And yep, Oxalon Media Converter. It'll convert uh, different formats, um, and it's free. You can download plugins as well, and it's only 3.2 megabytes. And I've used this in the past, and it, it works well. Tons of different formats it'll convert to. So yeah, if you if you need a free converter for Wave to MP3, um, that'll work for you. So Oxalon.com. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a good one, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.